Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. Thank you for joining us today. Today we will be speaking about what will happen when you are a superstar. Please watch the whole video to find out all the details. Alright then, let's get started. A superstar is a person who is well-known, influential or renowned in their area and has a large following. People who engage as actors, artists, sportsmen and other media-based occupations may be referred as superstars. To be a superstar or merely well-known has its own set of benefits. The popular notion is that superstars and prominent people have it all. Isn't it true that the grass is always greener on the other side? Superstars are treated with special care wherever they go. Superstars are given the privilege of being the chosen clients everywhere they go, from unique theater seats to special hotel tables. Wouldn't it be prodigious if you were given priority entrance to restaurants or first row slots at award ceremonies? Of course you would, which is why the benefits of a superstar is so appealing. As a superstar, you'll have to deal with a lot of pressure. People will begin to regard you as a role model. You'll brush your elbows with the affluent and famous and work alongside them. Experience VIP red carpet events, luxury clothing, dazzling automobiles, jewelry and the ability to buy whatever you want. You'll have more power than you ever imagined. Being well-known usually entails a higher net worth. One of the most apparent benefits of a celebrity is that it usually brings a lot of money. Superstars and other prominent individuals are typically wealthier than the average Joe. When people become famous superstars, their desire to have a luxurious home and car, exquisite gifts, expensive clothes and other worldly joys of life become a reality. Superstars are renowned for owning whole island in addition to mansions. If you have any reservations about whether superstars are wealthy, binge watch MTV Cribs and all your qualms will vanish. Superstars are instantly recognizable wherever they go. It is advantageous since random strangers frequently provide a tremendous ego boost to people. It is a perfect chance to brag to a friend and say things like, Wow, I'm so well-known. Everyone knows who I am. Of course, most veteran superstars rapidly overcome this first adrenaline rush. Being recognized, noticed and photographed, on the other hand, is a rush and an excellent message to the egos of specific renowned individuals. Fans follow superstars and well-known persons. The folks who idolize their celebrity idols are known as fans. They may have unrequited crushes or admired their stars in real life. Superstars' fan mail and other kinds of praise may be both be inspirational and motivating, as well as incredibly humbling. Who wouldn't want their adoring admirers, discipline, disciples, and true believers? Enthusiasts aspire to become like you, to look like you. Your image or initials will be inked on many people's bodies. You will be immortalized through statues, waxwork, and photographs. There are websites and fan bases dedicated to you. Your autograph will be valued as well. More significantly, you will have the chance to leave a lasting legacy. Therefore, setting a good example is essential. When someone becomes renowned, they have a lot of opportunities. When people become renowned, they have additional options in life, whether they're related to their profession or not. Michael Jordan, for instance, made a fortune not only by playing basketball. He has served as a face of Nike and endorsed several other products. Being a superstar opens numerous possibilities in life that might have remained closed if not for fame. As soon as they attain stardom, many superstars go into business for themselves. You'll always have to pay the price. And the more renowned you are, the higher the price, especially in terms of confidentiality. You're practically in a gigantic fishbowl, with everyone scrutinizing everything you say and do after becoming an international phenomenon and thrown into the spotlight. It can be daunting, especially if you don't have the help of an expert. Once you have achieved success, you'll have a team of dozens of people working for you, including bodyguards, an attorney, a manager, a financial advisor, and a media specialist. All of them you must trust to operate in your best interests. As a result, be wary about who you put your trust in. As a superstar, you will have the opportunity to work with your heroes and favorite superstars in some of the most incredible places on the planet. And you will be handsomely paid for the pleasure. Income earnings is the monetary equivalent of hitting the jackpot several times a year. The more renowned you grow, the larger the homes become, the higher the walls become, and some had to be more reclusive. If you're unlucky and can't keep your celebrity, your home will shrink because you cannot afford a large property. Superstars cannot perform tasks that the typical person is capable of. What do you think would happen if Dwayne Johnson went grocery shopping regularly? He'd be surrounded and pursue autographs and photos. Superstars and other well-known persons are unable to live ordinary lives. They may be compelled to live in their private world, incapable of performing things that ordinary people can. 
Being prominent has the downside of preventing superstars from engaging in the small joys of life, which may be pretty irritating. Shooting hoops at their community park, going food purchasing, taking a long stroll or a bike ride on the seashore are just a few of these basic joys in life. On a nice day, lying on the beach without being swarmed, relaxing on a park bench reading a book without being queried, can I photograph you, enjoy a lovely evening with your family at a nearby restaurant. Being a superstar can bring stalkers your way. We've undoubtedly heard of superstar stalking situations that have spiraled out of control. Renowned persons are frequently followed or tormented by admirers or supporters who step over the line and become obsessive via phone, email or mail. Threats and even physical damage can arise from addiction. A superstar's position can attract an excessive number of fraudulent pals. From a celebrity standpoint, separating an honest individual who wants to spend time from the millions who want to be friends who may wish to associate them for private benefits has become quite tricky. As one could expect, scrutinizing each person entering their lives would be a nerve-wracking process. It would entail being on alert at all times of the day, every hour, minute and second. Superstars are constantly criticized. Superstars are continually scrutinized by paparazzi, journalists, newspapers, bloggers, and other forms of media based on their mannerism, lifestyle, physique, and much more. A superstar's everyday schedule entails reviewing, humiliating, unpleasant, nasty, insulting, and harmful lies about themselves. It's like having a million people talk behind your back regularly. From a skeptic's perspective, consider how hard-hitting this would be if a tabloid focused on your weight or sleazy behavior. Superstars have no right to privacy. If Arnold Schwarzenegger goes on a motorbike ride on a sunny day, images of him will be splattered across the headlines. Do you see what I mean? One of those most severe drawbacks of being a superstar is the lack of privacy. The paparazzi, also known as paps, will also be around to watch your ups and downs from prominence. It's thrilling to be trailed and filmed first, then see your image in magazines and newspapers. But there are the interminable public broadcasting appearances. Being a star guest on all of the extensive talk programs can be exhausting, with everyone wanting a piece of you. Some paparazzi would purposefully irritate and irritate you to make you snap. It could make for a better story and, of course, would allow them to receive hundreds of thousands of dollars for an exclusive narrative and photograph. The money shot. Regrettably, some superstars rise to the bait and start fighting back. And trust me, and they're not always looking for the most attractive pictures when they take your photo. When you dance with the devil, prepare to pay the price, as folks say regarding the paparazzi. Well, that's all we have for you today. If you enjoyed today's video, don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Until we see you next time, ciao!